Hello and welcome to a very special edition of New Kids on the Blog. The reason why it's special is, well, we've changed around our format a little bit. Usually on New Kids on the Blog, you just have student union leaders and we discuss the days and the weeks, big stories with the future politicians, future political leaders. But today, in a turnaround, they join me, student union leaders join me in interviewing our special guest, that's Union Minister Nirmala Sitharaman. Thank you, ma'am, for being here. Thank you. And yes. Thanks very much. Also, why it's special is because we're in Jawaharlal Nehru University and Nirmala Sitharaman is from here. So it's a special coming back to your own college. And I believe you did your master's over here. That's right. Master's, my MPhil, and also my PhD. Submitted my thesis went away, but didn't come back to defend my thesis, so I don't have a PhD as yet, but yes, an MA, MPhil. Let me introduce you to some of our main interviewers as well, because New Kids on the Block is all about young student union leaders and getting a perspective, fresh perspective on, you know, what they're thinking about. Uh, we have from AISA and a former student union, uh, part of the JNU Students Union, we have Ramanaga, from BAPSA, which is an Ambedkar students group, we have Bhopali and Vivek. From uh, NS, uh, NSUI, we have Sunny Dhiman. And from ABVP, we have Abhijit Devedi. So all of them will be joining me. They'll be asking questions as well. I wanted to start off by asking you, ma'am, that at a time when we are seeing a lot of political parties, most of them now standing against you and telling the government you've done something wrong, you've made a mistake. Does the government then feel isolated? Well, uh, if the arguments that they are putting forth are substantial to make us think, yes, we would have felt, oh my God, have we done something wrong? But now, after one full day's discussion in the Rajya Sabha, and maybe extended to all that they speak outside too, we are not able to see as to where they are. Are they with people who are having black money? against whom action was demanded of us? Or are they with the people of India saying, yes, we need to cleanse our system, we need to do something, sometimes drastic, but it's not as if the government is, uh, you know, not sensitive to the difficulties people are undergoing. We are trying to do something to clear it at the earliest. But to question the very motive behind the decision, to me, is ill-informed. So the motive is right, but when they say that, look, you know, you want to get back black money, but to get back a fraction of the black currency or the black economy, to attack only a fraction of it, that you upset or inconvenience a large number of people, and they've particularly gone by the poor. They're saying it is anti-poor, that it's not going to affect their life at all. When everyone is saying that, and with you today, I think only the BJD and the TRS is outside, even the AIA DMK seems to be agreeing with the other side as well. There but must be some rethink, ma'am. No, no. I just want you to tell me, they're all together for what? They are saying what is it that we they want? stand for poor, poor people's rights. How very, very disappointing can I say this is? Standing for poor? Poor? are standing by the Prime Minister when they are standing in the queue and speaking about the difficulty that they are going through, which we are very sensitive to, they are very clearly saying, yes, for once there is a Prime Minister who has taken a firm action and the fraction that you are talking about, I am sorry, I don't think there is an assessment of it. And I am not calling all those who are holding 500 rupees and 1000 rupees who held it till now are black money holders. Yeah. I am not saying okay. that at all. Okay. But let's understand. If 86% of your total currency which was in circulation is in the denomination of 500,000 and many of which was not even coming into the circulation, actually making the whole process a bit more cumbersome, it was, it was getting stashed away somewhere, that after this declaration, saying that it ceased, they both ceased to be legal tender from the midnight of 8th, 9th intermission, and by 30th December, they should come into an institution, whichever bank be it, yeah. and post that, go to RBI. But even today, how much has come into the banks? 
5.6 lakh crores in the last counting. It, yeah. didn't, it didn't even enter into banking institution. They were lying somewhere. Shouldn't it really be in circulation? But they say it's coercion, ma'am. What is coercion? That, that you're forcing poor people to stand in line and instead of they should be earning a living, the daily wage laborer is spending precious hours doing that. Whereas the really fat cat is finding some other way, still using a black economy to make his black That's not white. true at all. Any account which has money and where there is a transaction through a checkbook or check or a rupee card, which mind you, after the Jandan accounts were opened, everyone after a couple of months did get a rupee card and they could also take their money using the rupee cards. And today, in many of the Jandan accounts, I think the latest statistics is about 21,000 crores have reached Jandan in this process. Earlier you knew what was deposited. If people are using their cards to take, rupee cards, and I'm not talking about credit cards which in the hands of very few people. Mm. Now, therefore, banking transaction. Actually, if you did see, uh, and I'm sure you're active in social media, you see the various ways in which people have found ways. And I'm not saying that has got to be justified or condemned. If they found ways of carrying on with their business, it's going on. For us to think, that oh my god these poor people don't know ways of you know getting their money on the contrary i'll give you this example which the finance minister used in the parliamentary party meeting that we had in 1996 when bjp held its national executive in uh, mumbai the party had asked for eight mobile phones so that it can be used people laughed saying what are you doing how many people in this country use mobile phones why do you want the mobile phones in the first place and at that time, if anyone had suggested that there will be a digital revolution and people will be using mobile phones, we would have laughed. But what has taken over? And from then till today, we are talking about, oh, the poor, they don't know. It is today the poor who is benefiting by the digital you know, instrument in their hand, whether the public distribution system, whether the go-downs which are sending the grains to the PDS, message comes in your SMS through your mobile phones, not smartphones, mind you. The response thing, then I'll hand over to the student union leaders, response thing, many are pointing on, okay, so if we, if we accept what you're saying, that you, know, the, you can't question the intentions, the intentions are fair and the people are benefiting from it. But ma'am, you would admit there have been mistakes in implementation, that perhaps things could have been done better if the recalibration of the machines were done, if there was thought enough that, okay, fine, because that 4,000 and 4,500, then going back to 2,000 limit, this changing of things, it did confuse things around. The changing of 4,000 back to 2,000 happened after a few days of the 4,000 was running currency, in the sense was acceptable. And once we started having absolutely, uh, what do you call, authentic reports from the ground, that it is probably getting misused, we reduced it to 2,500. Because it was getting... Yes, we had very not because credible, cash was running. No, out. no, no. Credible reports of the same people coming back to collect four thousand all over again, four thousand all over again. But the indelible and ink took yes. care of the thing. But yes. why reduce the number? Because even by then, many people had already swapped their old currency for something new. These are swaps, right? You give your money, yeah, yeah. take money back. You're not depositing yeah, into the account. Yeah. For those who are depositing in account, there's no issue at no, all. No, of course, huh. there isn't. No, crowds are reducing, but it's unsure whether in the villages things are improving that rapidly or not. Yeah, Rama, go ahead with your question. Uh, Ma'am, since you have done your study in JNU, in Center for Study of Economic uh, Studies and Planning, so my simple question is, uh, I mean, did the government do proper planning before announcing this thing? As an economist, if I pose this question, and I have uh, also heard uh, the professor from your center, CESP, they are saying that there was no proper planning, the, the government did not do proper homework before going this thing. So this was the thing. Has the government done proper planning and arrangement before announcing this thing? Because as an economist, if you think yourself, black money lays in different form. It may be gold, it may, it may be liquid, it may be uh, property, any many ma other forms. Now the government says that now the go poor will access their money through Paytm by uh, Big Bazaar and all these things. But we know that the 
people who go to big bazaar and they access the, uh, the Paytm service, they are the rich. So, this this is my question. Whether the no, I'm glad you asked this question. I'll tell you there. The government is not looking at this as the only source of tracking black money. If you would have noticed, since the time this government came into place, the first decision the cabinet took was to form the SIT, which was lying pending for three years, even after Supreme Court had said for the government then to form the SIT. Mm -hmm. We formed it the, as the first decision. And after that, did we wait only for this? No. We took several decisions towards tracking black money abroad and black money in this country. Black money abroad, we made sure that we tied up with many of the countries which the previous government had also started and they had also obtained lists from different countries of people who have accounts abroad. Now when you have accounts abroad and when the list is given to you, they don't tell you which among them have kept non-tax paid money in the account. They just give you a list of all those who hold accounts. Whether all of them are money without tax being paid somewhere and kept somewhere there or not has to be established after enquiry. So that process is going on and once the enquiry clearly uh, gives us evidence to believe that there is somebody who is not paid tax neither here nor there, we then file a case first of all letting know the SIT and then only the name is revealed. So it's not just one step. Several steps have been taken, looking at black money outside the country, but which looking of those, at black money here. Ma'am, which of the sorry, ma'am, which of those steps will stop further generation of black money? Each one of them should. All of them should. Yes, each one of them should. Okay, okay, go ahead, Vivek. Uh, actually, my question is: I personally feel the government is partially considering the whole whole problem of black money. Black money is not all about stock. It can be black money can be. A flow concept so as well. Obviously. For example, when out of 100%, when 86% currency are in the flow, and when people who are mostly using and stacking those money, they may not be necessarily rich. They may be poor households also. And when you will suddenly withdraw the 500 and 1,000 notes, which is 86,000 in circulation, 86% in circulation, then it is directly going to affect to the middle class, to the poor and to the marginalized sections of the society whose banking behavior, whose banking pra practices are very less. And, and the sincerity with which the government is uh, discussing about the black money, it seems to me very uh, partial or very discriminatory to the marginalized communities, to the poor, co poor people and very favorable to the rich and the corporate class can precisely you because… Can you speak from instance? Or for you instance… The, 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 the suppose I am earning one, 100 rupees, my profit is 100 rupees and I am reporting that my profit is 20 rupees, then eight, that 80 rupees will, be, will become black money. And I, being a capitalist, being a corporate class, I will not stock that money, 80 rupees. I will rather invest in other things. And so that, that, that black money will be accumulated over a period of time, which is already in the flow. With due respects, with due respects, flow stock. Hasn't this been addressed in this very case? Hasn't this been addressed? The fact is, some money comes into the bank and some doesn't. The flow is affected. The flow is affected. I'm sorry, listen to me for a minute. Yeah. Isn't the flow affected? Yes or no? It is affected. The flow is affected. If there is a flow, you'll know where to track it. If it's not flowing and if it's held somewhere, held for some reason, you do not know and it is getting accumulated probably through real estate transactions where 50% is taken as cash. This amount might vary. Some places it is 70, some places 50. 50 is taken as cash, 50 is taken as check. Isn't that 50 adding to that stock? The flow going into the stock? So you can't really draw that line between stock and flow and accuse the government of saying, oh my God, you're not looking at the flow, you're looking at the stock. They're both interlinked. Okay. First thing, I missed out on answering one thing about what you asked. Government could have been prepared much better. We have done our preparation maximum best. And on a scale of this mag magnitude, where the Indian currency has 500,000 denomination to the extent of 86, which is what we are repeatedly saying. 
to get back that amount of cash back into circulation is not going to be pre-planned so much to the extent that much before you announce this program, you come with that money ready in the retail banks and give a sense of, oh my God, why are all this is happening? Is there something going? I mean, people are sharp. They, they're obviously going to read what is uh, going to happen. I have a question, uh, not a typical question, which is usually comes to you. Uh, first is an observation like to kill a, ma kill a, a man eater tiger, the whole forest was burned to the ashes. Uh, yes, you are rightly saying that, yes, you, uh, there has been steps taken by the government of the day since 2014 and below, uh, before it, of course. But yeah, I, I want to talk from the side of little uh, far, that is the finance capital. The finance capital has entered our economy. They are moving their money since the government has been formed. The, the, the limit was, upper limit was 60,000 rupees, uh, dollar, which you can transfer to the f foreign accounts. Now, step by step, it has been increased to 2,50,000 two, uh, two rupees, uh, dollar. Why, why this? Second, uh, the money you, you are talking about, uh, I belong to the marginalized section. I belong to the grassroots, so I'll raise the question because the 60% or 55% population of this country does not use rupee or any kind of ATM card. They use, they don't use any, because if I'm a, a, a vegetable vendor, I won't use any ATM card. I won't use any account, even though government has provided me an account. So what about those people? Were, were those people be, uh, being punished by the government that you are not, you? part of our economy, banking economy. Therefore, we are going to punish you. So what okay, kind of respond. system yeah. which this has been created? And the last one, last point yeah. I want Sorry, to raise, no last point, <laughs> last point question. I want to raise, yeah. like the 2000 rupees note, uh, I was talking to the third highest position, RBI person. He was telling me that, yes, the action is good. Even I say action is good. But the 2000 rupees note came earlier than 500 rupees. It is kind of, Idiotic, I, see, uh, I think, because you don't have 100 rupees note in circulation. So how will you change the 2,000 rupees? There's news are coming that in rural area, nobody is going to use their ATM because they know there are only 2,000 rupees not there. So simple is, like, my, my question is from the marginalized section, the informal economy. Many of our MPs, even if you want to exclude me, many of our MPs, are also from the marginalized sections. Well, that can be done. All right. Symbolically. Excuse me. Are you undermining the importance of Indian electorate? Reserved sections are there? Yes. SCs, STs, minorities, whether from one party or other, they're it's all there. Right. Right. So you are are you, you saying the constitutional provision is a propaganda? Reservation is a propaganda? I mean, excuse me. Constitution, ma'am, constitution is not propaganda. Reservation comes from the constitution. Ma'am, you are not talking about the those people whom I am go, I'm trying to represent. Those people who are part of the informal economy, who are either ready wala, dood wala, they, do, they don't do Paytm, they don't do any no, wait a minute. rupee I'm card. No, no, they wait don't a minute. do. And uh, uh, for an example, ma'am, there is a juggi near to JNU. I found that those people has earning of more than 2,000, 2, no, 50,000 You rupees. should have some time for others to say yeah. answers, you know. Okay, so Your observations are important. Please Your uh, observations are important. But so should others' but viewpoint, reply, yeah? You, where did you uh, give me a I, chance I, to reply? You seem to be taking the mic to tell me, no, sorry, you don't know anything, we know everything. I, I there think are members. Yeah. I'll just answer yeah, him yeah, and yeah. come back. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. I'll just answer him and come back to you, please. Yeah, okay? sure, sure. There are members of parliament who are elected and who come from, if I understand your language right, marginalized, marginalized well, sections. That doesn't, that doesn't matter to me. If it is serving the Wait, interest of the... Excuse me, you seem to be refuting it's everything I say. Sorry, go ahead. Ma'am, ma please go ahead. Okay, he my doesn't want my answer, he wants no, only to voice his opinion. Which is, giving, which is being a student of JNU, which is being a student of JNU, I'm finding it surprising. No, Which is being a student of JNU. Doesn't represent me. You as a poor. No, as a listen. Poor. I mean, you I can't think, appropriate I think we let's just everything for yourself. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. No, no, no. Sunaitra, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, you're a student. No, 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 no. No, no. My point is just that. Just one minute, ma'am. Okay. One minute. 
you are a student no excuse me letter what no 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 excuse me ma'am 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 ma pali one second let's listen to please okay what do you say letter what you said something letter ha ah. thank you <laughs> yeah Clear answer Sally, yeah. I think I think you've spoken enough. So so, let, let me speak. Yeah. Accept my answer yeah, or not? Exactly. Accept my own answer or not? But have the strength, conviction to hear somebody else. I thought this place was known for it. I thought this place demanded it. I thought this this is also part of my answer. I thought this place always prided itself. that we allow all kinds of opinions to prevail here no wait a minute i don't want a running commentary i'm sorry my flow of thought is affected i didn't stop you when you were you know pondering over all that thought yes, ma'am shall we move on no yeah. wait a minute so this gentleman requires his answer yes there are people in the house who are representing these sections you you repeat your commentary i should put up with that okay i'll i'll, I'll I think this gentleman yeah. is not interested in my answer. Please go ahead. Okay, my point is uh, whether it's you or whether it's us. You being in parliament, we being in Jane, we are little in safer zone and not much affected by these decisions. Mm. But outside, if we see, you also mentioned about social media. That maybe you must be also seeing social media. We have seen people more than fifty, close to hundred deaths have happened because of this decision till now. What about those casualties? And the second thing is that uh, because it's a decision taken by your government, you might. Uh, uh like you know always defend it but the point is that before getting 500 and uh, 2000 rupees notes in the market or in atm there were bjp parliament uh, not parliamentarians but vidhayak or even bjp supporters whose pictures were circulated in media that they were already having 2000 rupees notes Haan, with them so what that. about that okay. is it not a corruption is it not a internal corruption within bjp how you talk about it it is there in social media let me yes. answer ma'am yes. i am not refuting your answer your thing but i will certainly ask you to tell me with credible evidence as to where you found it i'll ask somebody to investigate it and give you the results of it but the fact remains it was a decision taken with utmost secrecy because it is an issue with it is an issue with a great deal of sensitivity an economy of our size and our economy being very layered where many sections are still not completely into the financial inclusion and that is why we have started the jandhan yojana by which we have reached every household and made sure that every adult gets an account that has been there since 2014 as a campaign our attempt is now to show that very clearly we are sincere about taking steps which are required for black money eradication and in the process when we have decided to withdraw 500000 the 2000 rupee note had to come into circulation and as a result of which uh, 2000 came in and after the announcement 3 or 4 5 days later 500 came in the new versions 100 rupee notes are still there and their numbers might be low because obviously 500 and 1000 themselves reached 86 but this but this allegation that somebody from the bjp had it before somebody from the bjp had this news before is ab absolutely baseless many of us in the cap because it's contradictory it is absolutely contradictory you are saying something that we knew about it and we wouldn't these are things which can be held back by somebody let anyone investigate i mean this is without to... basis to throw an allegation saying oh you benefited bjp ma'am i wanted to ask you this uh, you know because politics is a perception game and when one of the things which obviously is very very sensitive because we're seeing deaths now not all of them happen happen and they're mostly senior citizens but does that how are you all planning to tackle that these rising number of deaths that are taking place where the families are saying look it's because of this they were waiting they were stressed they had a heart attack because of this the child died because he went to hospital they won't accept the note how are you all planning because it must be very difficult as regards hospitals instructions were given 
that they cannot send back. I understand. I'm just the whole deaths, the people deaths. How are you all? You know. No, I see. It's very unfortunate. I will not want to go beyond this because the moment I utter anything, it will undermine the intensity of the tragedy. I'm not going to say anything more than this. It is unfortunate. Okay. Next question. Someone from the back. Hello, yeah. ma'am. Uh, my name is Govind, and I'm a student from Nepal. As you must be knowing that in is Nepal, mic working, I can hear you, but still, huh. in Nepal uh, we use Indian currency, five hundred and thousand rupees. Uh, after demonetize of these notes, uh, many people are suffering from that. Uh, do you think uh, Indian government is taking any action to help those people? Some inputs have come from Nepal, Bhutan, where Indian currency were almost legal tender within their area. So I'm sure the government will take a call on it. Yes, inputs have come.